It's a video. It's a video. Oh, we could have told that before I still don't. We are in the Tough Sheet Community Stadium for the Belt Wonders in the Community Sleep Out 2024. We're here, pitch side, exclusive access. Colin is here, Colin's here, Chris over here. In good spirits, so yeah. far so good, it's not too cold, we're doing all right. It's uh, currently about six degrees, current total, current total is 1,380 pounds, I think, which is, is mind blowing. Um, hey, 25 quid when we went live, so thank you. 25 pounds, we went live before, so for those of you who watched that, you are the real troopers. But yes, Tough Sleep 2024, here we come. Here we are. Good evening, ladies and gents. Hi, yeah. We're here with All Chris, right. Carl, and Ben. We're live from the Tough Sheet Community Stadium. Um, so far, I believe the total raised is it twenty grand? Twenty two. Twenty two thousand pounds currently raised. Twenty two. Which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Twenty two. There's about one hundred and fifty people turned out this evening here at the Tough Sheet. Uh, one hundred and fifty people that have given up their evenings to. Uh, raise some awareness for rough sleeping and homeless charities here in Bolton and uh, the, we, West, the West Ham is going to be keeping us warm or being warm well I'm not sure about that no. it's going to be keeping us warm can but you turn the camera on just keep it we can a do bit, we can do bit of a view um, what's going on and just on a personal note, the fans on podcast have raised one thousand three hundred and fifty pounds. Thank you. Uh, a little bit just over that, actually, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, cheers to you all. Thank Legends. you very, very much. We've just had a twenty pound donation come through as well. So twenty two. Whoever that was. Thank, thank you. you very much. That's no way. Legend. <laughs> Let's, uh, Live donations. There we are. Oh, there Inside. we go. Live unseen footage. Tub sheet like you've never seen it before. <laughs> Probably are. Yeah, probably Thanks, are. Jim, for twenty pounds. Jim, Jim. I do the health and well-being stuff, don't I, Chris? You do, mate. Do yourself. Yeah, yeah. got um, me a bit. Basically, work with people to improve the physical, mental, and social well-being. Fantastic. And he does a great job. And just and just, and just look at this man here. I know. Look I, at I, him. I lost thirteen kilos. Thank in you to this man. <laughs> in a day, forty stone in a day. What are the other projects you've got coming up? Obviously, you've uh, done the the fit trotters. You've yeah. done the gambling stuff. Is there anything else we're coming doing, up? We're uh, doing a program called Active Wonders. Now it's, it's basically getting people active, but improving the yeah. uh, mental well-being as well. We do active aging, which works with over fifty fives. Not me. Do a walk and talk on a Monday evening. I do that. Um, with, with people um, in Alzheimer's and dementia group. Look, Mark, Crow back... Mark Crowder's on, say the last. <laughs> Hello, Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah. So many people get involved. Absolutely lovely. Good evening, ladies and gents. Look at where we're sat. Pitch side in the dugouts. Chris and Carl over there. Prime position. <laughs> Colin seems to think he's here never. We have to keep reminding him that he's not. Uh, different charities. So we've got Urban Outreach, Emmaus Bolton, Back Up North West, and Bolton Wanderers in the community. So we wanted to show everyone, we'll be able to tell everybody, how all the effort that you've gone through to fundraise and help to raise awareness tonight makes a difference to our time. The idea that there's a lot of choice in this and um, we don't think and we don't believe and we don't find a lot of people who make this choice and when we think about a choice I make a choice from the basis of uh, security I make a choice from the basis of, of support and friends and family if you don't have that and if your life from a child was devoid of that then as you they don't have family. Uh, and one of those misconceptions is, is that you know, people who uh, end up homeless on the streets, you know, they all have uh, an addiction of some sort. In actual fact, the majority of people um, end up homeless because of relationship breakdown or, or mental health issues. We've had a young person in recently who has witnessed the murder. He's always with us. I just broadcast that to the whole world. Uh, yeah. He's not from this borough, um, and so, so obviously, very seriously, like, there's a risk to his, his life at the moment, he's under threat. So th there's lots of different scenarios with us, and going back to what you were talking about, Mr. Um, on one of the evenings, there was a guy who used to beg on the streets of Bolton. He was a, um, he liked to have a little drink, uh, but he was just begging. He was harmless. 
and um, he used to go to the back of where uh, there used to be in Iceland in town and um, he used to sit by the extractors where the fridges used to put out because it was warm and um, one night he was in the town and, and uh, the clubs turned out about two o'clock in the morning and four uh, young people ish um, by my age obviously young um, they felt that what he represented was something that they just didn't really appreciate so they kicked him to death well they kicked him within an inch of his death he was found in the morning hanging on the extractors of the freezer of the back of iceland in the town center in our town because somebody didn't like what they saw and he had done no harm so when we do this the difference it makes is when you think on the individuals that sit outside, maybe begging, maybe just leaning a little bit of heat out the back of the freezer. When we do this, we are in solidarity with them for one night. And if we raise some money, that money gets spent so that they don't end up hanging on the back of the freezer because that's the only place they could find heat. When we do something, and we do it together as a town, maybe we change the future for these people forever. It's all for an unbelievable cause. Yeah, massive. Really appreciate everybody who's donated. Um, it's getting a bit cold now. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting a little, a little bit, bit cold. Chris is still hanging on to his... Um, his Ian Everett seat. <laughs> No, you're all legends. Thank you very much. Somebody's just done it at the tenor as well, so thank you. I'm going to read through the chat, yeah, see we'll what do people that. are saying. Um, yes, we'll get a coat on hand. Thanks, Mum. Look at these legends. Um, here behind. Community. Oh, you're live. Woo! Don't say fuck our bugger. <laughs> For one night. Imagine doing it every night. Imagine doing it every Forever. single night. Indefinitely. <laughs> you know, um... <laughs> It's a wonderful, wonderful um, idea to do this and raise some real, real a lot, a lot of money for people who are struggling uh, across the three charities that were mentioned in the live. So while we enjoy this hailstorm, just if think you about can hear that. that, imagine that every night. Um, the lady talks superbly. David, she does. Uh, very, very impactful speaker. Uh, they all were, all the charities. So that's Emmaus, Bolton, uh, back up northwest and uh, Urban Outreach, all incredible uh, charities, as well as Bolton ones in the community. Um, I'm getting wet, so I'm going to have to move. <laughs> oh, Chris has got the gloves out. It's getting really cold now. It's getting really chilly. Really, really chilly. Uh, chilly but what chilly, would warm us up is those donations coming through. So, has anyone got an updated total for us? No, because I'm putting gloves on, I can't use my phone. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to get one from Colin. I'm going to also put my coat on and I'm going to start to wrap up because the layers are essential. For some, it's just not possible. 1,400. We are 100 pounds away from 1,500 pounds. You have all been fantastic. Tell your friends, tell your family, we're just 100 pounds away. Um, we honestly thought that £500 would have been a good figure. We thought £1,000 was an absolute impossible task to have smashed through that so, so easily has been absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, and so, if any of you can spare, um, if you can hear that, it's, it's not pleasant. It's really not. Oh yeah, but there is literal hailstone on the blanket and on the sleeping bags. Um, so yeah, if you weren't, if you were thinking about donating and hadn't done, getting hit in the face with hailstone whilst we're asleep is probably a good incentive for you to just give a little bit of a uh, little bit of cash, folks. Uh, <laughs> tenor, right, Colin, can you come over here? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking cold, you know. I'm not gonna fall, huh? You're ready, ready for this. Not very, um, very slidable. Just do it. Rip your pants.
Jesus Christ. 20 pounds away from the £1,500 mark. All these ex-footballers we've got. Proud of you, boys. Thank you. Sorry about the angry face, silly phone. That's Getting okay. Do you all get free breakfast in the morning? Yes, we do. We get uh, a greenhouse sausage butty or bacon butty, I believe. It is freezing indeed, Chris. Chris is uh, sliding into the DMs of a familiar face. Hang on. Where is he? We'll have to. We'll get a sneak peek. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know what time. Mr. It is. Lloyd is Grove over in Australia. I don't know what time. It is. <laughs> I actually went to sleep at 6 a.m. yesterday um, and I woke myself up at 9 a.m. So I've had three hours sleep and I think that sleep deprivation is starting to get to me. Going a bit insane. <laughs> Who's just done it? Who was that? Let me just, let me just confirm. I, I should have known, really, shouldn't I? I should have known that it would have been the one and only Chris Burton, Eco Warm Windows, headline sponsor. Headline sponsor of the Fan Zone podcast has just hit us that £1,500. Not only that, someone else has donated £20. So £1,520 Great British Pounds. Um, Liam, I want an answer which of you is Del Boy, which is Trigger, which is Rodney. Liam, what a legend. Chris Burton, headline sponsor, making us hit that £1,500 mark. Clapping hands from Ange, I'm going to tell the gang. Though, I looked, when I first started, when video, yeah, go on. The difference was tonight. No, it didn't. Yeah. Are they still live? Yeah. You fucking heroes. Yeah, I know we're not that shot. podcast, but that's <laughs> absolutely well, fantastic. Well, yeah. Who tips us over the edge? Or who were the contributors towards? Do you want to have a guess who tips us over the edge? Go on. Who made us at the target? Guess. MJ. No. Go on. Go on. Chris Burton. Chris or Burton. 1,520 quid. <laughs> Legends, right? Sorry. Cheers, Chris, lad. Thank you Have very a much. On me. We're uh, we're going to bed now. It's freezing. We need some sleep. Signing off from the Fan Zone podcast. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Legends, love you all. Sleep tight. See you tomorrow. Back to podcast business very soon. Take care. Morning, Chris. Oh, oh morning. You're all right. <laughs>